Hi there, I'm Java Jim with First Line Equipment and today we receive this box from the Ranchillo Group in Chicago and they said they were sending me something to evaluate so I figure I'll share while we initially evaluate evaluate what's in here but it's a surprise. So as you can see, it looks like it's double box. It has Ranchilio group tape. As usual, there's a packing list. And it has somebody's name who doesn't even work here, but it also has my name as well. And we're gonna take a look what's in here. We have our trusty box cutter knife. We get these from another company. They have line in their last, in their, I would say last name, but in their name. And let's take a look at what's going on in here. In here, we have some paper wrap. Actually, just so you know, uh, here at First Line, we use a similar type of paper wrap for the environment. And it's not messy. Uh, it can be recycled, but more importantly, save some of this and reuse it. Let's throw that over there. Guess who's the cleaning crew at First Line? Everyone. Everyone's responsible for cleaning. I make the mess, I clean it. And we got some foam inserts in here. And in here, we have... We have... Another Rinchillo box. And it shakes. And what is in here? And it says, household type, Bianco, apparel manager, whatever that is. And uh, on top of here it says, style grinder, 110 volt in white. And this is the part that I hate. I do not like staples. And the reason is because if you, two reasons. One, you get punctured by one of them, they sting because they have a chemical on them. And number two, man, these are hard. Woo. And I think this has been restapled because it looks like they probably inspected this. Just to let you know, there's a little secret to these. Uh, get a flathead screwdriver and just pop them out. So here's one that's broken. The key when you see these, we try to remove these at first line uh, because what happens is injury. Number two is when you go pull the product out, you scratch the unit. So it's important to take these off especially on the top. They work very well. You can see how like much energy and muscle you need to get those off. And now we have more paper. Looks like they must have inspected this and wrapped it up. Probably best to lay it on its side and slide this out. And we have our instruction manual. Style. We want to be in style. Let's uh, give the grand old presentation. Three, two, one. What's behind door number one? The Ranchillo style in white. Bianco color. Now, if you haven't noticed in the past year or two here at First Line, uh, and this is uh, November of 2020, we really haven't brought in the Ranchilio Rocky. And Ranchilio probably has noticed that. And the reason is because a lot of companies have surpassed the Rocky. If you, we were back in 1997, 98, 99, um, 
2000. The Rocky was a well-known workhorse. And in fact, a customer came to visit us about a week ago. And guess what? His Rocky still works. He actually wants it to not work because he wants a better grinder. So this is where when a good company builds a very good product and it lasts a long time, what's usually synonymous with that name? Or what name is synonymous with that feature? Ranchilio. In many, many cases, Ranchilio builds a very, very good product. As you can see, I have not even opened the box before. It was sealed from Ranchilio. So I have no clue about this grinder uh, that, that I could tell you. So let's get started. And uh, let me get an extension cord down here so we could plug this in. I'll take a look here. It says style. Uh, it's a nice color white. Seems like an aluminum body. Cover. Okay. Uh, flat, looks like flat burrs on the inside. A uh, clear bean hopper. Now, the colored bean hoppers usually keep out the sun's rays. Clear doesn't. So, maybe in the future they can go to their blue tint or some type of tint hopper. Uh, this seems a little bit more flexible than the Rocky. It doesn't have the flex uh, on their bean hoppers, but actually that's a good thing. And the reason is because the old ones sometimes used to crack in shipping. So I think this is going to withstand the shipping a little bit better. Uh, looks like we have our power switch here. We have our, wow, that's an integrated bean stopper. Wow, nice feature, very nice feature. And let's see here for adjustments. Okay, I hear micrometrical steps. There's little clicks that go on. Okay, let's close, open that. And over here we have settings of a one. So here we have um, the graphical layout of large that way, smaller this way. Now, if you just noticed, that was just moving it in here, smaller this way, larger that way. There's no beans inside. The most important thing for grinders, or actually two things. One, change settings while the grinder is running and operating. Most importantly, when you're going finer and you're compacting the burrs together, that coffee nail will compact the two flat burrs. And it could also do it to conical burrs, and then you only get a coarse grinder, you gotta take everything apart to clean it or go to a much coarser setting. The second most important thing is don't use flavored coffee beans. And every customer that comes in here, I go over with this and they're like, ha 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 ha, I don't use flavored coffee beans. And I'm like, yes, I know you know, but just to reiterate, because that flavoring will affect the burrs and it could take up to a year to get out that flavoring. Because I have a customer who decided to use flavored coffee beans had a problem, and this was going over 10 or 15 years ago, that the flavoring was affecting all his future coffees and he wanted to return it. And I'm like, Ugh. you know, and it took us a year to get that flavoring out. We even changed the burr set, it was still in there. So, uh, looks like here we got a little cover, a uh, plastic cover that can be taken off. Oop, my fingers are not good. We'll take that off. And it looks like we had some little uh, display issues here and they seem to be fading away. So probably a good idea to take this off uh, before you start up the grinder. We have a push button down here, okay. Not working. Let's try pressing there and there we go. Press the button there and we basically have a timer. Okay, we want the two cup. And it's going down. So you could set the time. So there's no weighing of the coffee. 
uh, into your porta filter. The grinder has a slight hum. Okay, let's try the middle here. Okay, you want to touch. Okay, what about here? Still not working. So we're gonna have to go to the instruction manual on that. Oop, I just lifted it by the bean hopper. And what happened? Wow, look how fast. Again, I didn't even read the instructions. I'm going along with you to see and learn about this grinder. Now there are four Allen key bolts here, okay? But it looks like we have access to the burrs and the timer goes off, but the motor and the burrs are not spinning. And most likely the reason is there's probably some, nope, not a magnetic switch, but there's a little prong right here that goes into here that probably tells you Okay, that probably tells you that uh, the bean hopper's on. Now, why did Ranchilio decide to do this? Hmm, I could tell you why. Okay, close this. Let's see if we can get this out. Okay, and we can't. And what I was thinking was, so this has to be open. Nope, actually it's gotta be closed like this. Guess what you can do? You can buy extra hoppers, have this closed, and change the beans. So you can have one hopper with some beans, or you can basically take it out, spill it back into the bag, and put a different coffee bean blend inside there. That's probably the reason why they made this removable. And actually, this is a pretty tight fit, but it's actually pretty good. I like that. To figure out, okay, we're in Chilio Group. There's a sticker. It's ETL listed, which is usually for commercial. Uh, there's a, a chute right here, but I don't think it's removable. Uh, there's a clump breaker inside there that I see. And now let's see if I could figure out how we get into the programming. And the wire, okay, it's sitting good. Let's hold this button here. Sometimes we'll get into the menu. And we don't. Let's try the two buttons here. Okay. Okay, we could do the programming here. So we got that, press that, good. Hold this button. We could program there, plus and minus. Okay, press that button again. Let's hold. Okay, that's to start the grinder manually. See what happens when you don't read the manual first? This is what happens. So let's see here for programming. We have a porta filter holder, which is made of metal. It's adjustable because there's a screw right there. And let's take a quick peek using the doser grinder. I don't know why they call it doser right in here. This is doser less. Okay, power switch, uh, number four minus plus times six. Micro list dispensing mode. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Countdown, uh, 70 hours are reached. It indicates, this, I this icon, when 70 hours are reached, this icon indicates that it's necessary to replace the grinder. Replace the grinder at 70 hours? Uh, probably meant grinding burrs. Okay, and let's see here. Pre-selection portafilter. Button to activate the grinder, pre-selection mode. So there is something here to start it, but I'm not reading. Oh, I guess this is what happens. So you press the button in with the porta filter, and then you press the button on top. That's what it seems to be looking like. Grinding times. 
continuous dispensing. That's the button that's in the middle. You need to hold that. And rotation of the burrs I went over on the side. Again, it, it's not, I don't think it's stepless, but it's micrometrical step for sure. Maintenance. At the end, at end of daily use, thorough cleaning of the appliance. I would say maybe exterior cleaning of the appliance. Uh, with each use, check the condition of the power cord. Uh, guess how many times I've done that in the last 25 years? After every use. Zero. Um, but they're recommending it here. Uh, then there's some other ones. Replacement of the burrs when necessary. It says specialized technician, but let's see here. Let's pull this out. And let's see here. Four bolts. It's probably a micro switch here. I, I could probably say it could probably be self-repaired, but maybe not. Got to get into this. And um, let me get a little coffee to see the grind quality here. Put some coffee in here, put this back in, open the hopper, get some beans in here, and put the cover back on. I know this is a boring video, but this is a brand new product. Let's turn that. Actually, let's just get a little bit here. Another thing that you'll learn is you want to feel for the consistency of the grind finest. What do we mean by that? That means from particle size to particle size to particle size, it's consistent. There's many folks who buy these home grinders, and they say this is home, but this is really this is really commercial grade grinder. Um, and the grind quality, especially the whirly blade ones, big particles, small particles, and you get a nice mixture. It's the consistency that makes exceptional espresso. And this is like talcum powder that's coming out right now. And this is on, let's see here, setting. The setting thing sticking out is on this side, just to let you know, there's none on this side. So right now we're about a, a one, a little over a one or a minus one. But th this is like powder. This, is, this I would compare to some serious two to three thousand dollar grinders now in the light roast um there's folks who like light roasted single origin beans i'm not sure how well it's going to do because i'm not a, a big fan of those beans but i'm going to say it probably will but again i'm not sure because i'm not sure what's going to get stuck uh in the chute and let's take a look here knock out the retention and you'll get a close-up of that retention that I just knocked out right here. It's actually very, very little. Again, this is Java Gym with first line equipment. We just opened up the brand new Ranchilio style espresso coffee grinder. And there's been no cue cards, nothing. We just took this out of the box to show you on this brand new grinder that's coming out and will be here for sure now. I've, I've made a decision already that we're carrying this grinder here at First Line Equipment. Take a uh, look on our website, make any comments or questions down below. I can't always get to them, but other people do respond. Once again, Java Jim, have a great day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Facebook, and Twitter, and have a wonderful day enjoying coffee first and everything else second.